Well, I'm Kenny Lowry, and today we're going to talk a little bit about having bigger fountain features on our 4x4 basin. Now, this is about as large as you can go on a 4x4 basin. This is one of the larger boulders. The water comes out here. There's a lot of water splashing going on here. You see it comes down here and splashes out. And even on this, we're splashing outside of the basin a little bit. Uh, but if you wanted to ramp this up fountain to really take advantage of this fountain water action, you would have to put a bigger pump on it or, or increase the uh, pressure here so it shoots higher in the air. And then it's got a lot of water action. This is a really spectacular fountain when you do that. But then it's too large for a 4x4 four four basin. What we found the easiest thing to do to collect that water and to create a larger footprint is to have a rubber liner that goes down in our 4x4 four four basin. So most of the insulation, if you watch the insulation video, you see that our basins are mounted about an inch above grade. That way if you get a heavy rain, it doesn't wash a bunch of stuff into your basin. So we're a little bit above grade. What you're going to do is go subgrade, about four inches, three to four inches subgrade. So you'll have the basin in the ground, and then you'll put the rubber liner in the basin. So that actually goes in the basin, then you're just the regular insulation after that. Cinder blocks goes on top of the rubber liner, grate goes in, and then you would unfold your rubber liner to create a seven or eight foot or 10 foot footprint, whatever it is you're doing, depending on the fountain feature. So then any water that lands over here will be sloped back in. So once you get that basin subgrade, you're gonna come out here with your soil and you're gonna slope back into the basin. So any water that lands out here, it's gonna run back into the basin and not lose that water. It's a very quick, very easy installation. It's a very simple installation. And it just creates anywhere from, I think about the most you can go is about 10 feet uh, on your collection area at that point. But that'll take care of the majority of the fountain. This fountain's really neat if you do that. So creating that extra footprint there, if you have the room, that's something you're gonna wanna consider. And on some of the fountains that we have, like the California Basalt, those are, that's something that makes it easy to set up for those California Basalt on as well. So as always, yeah, oh, and when you, I do wanna mention, when you go subgrade, doesn't mean that the fountain feature is gonna set subgrade. You remember, you're sinking three or four inches. The best thing to do is get about, uh, you know, a couple of four inch cinder blocks. And you put those on the grate just like you normally would, and that four inches are gonna elevate that fountain feature back up to be in that grade. And then you just put your stone around the cinder box so that you don't see it. So you won't know that you've got a, a uh, subgrade system there because of the, the cinder blocks there. You won't see them because they'll be covered with the stone. So as always, if you have any questions, you can reach me at 540-948-2239 or email me, kenny at southerngraceva.com.